Welcome everybody. I'm so glad you found my channel and I'm glad that you're here to take advantage of the free classes that I offer. So the classes that are offered in the Soul Flex and the Hatha Yoga classes are, are from live classes. So there may be times when I'm demonstrating the posture or the movement, the exercise, and then I stop and I'm looking at the camera. And that's because I'm looking at my students. So if you'd like to join the live classes, just put it in the comments or send me an email. Just let me know. I'd be more than happy to have you. It's a wonderful community of people. Um, but other than that, just enjoy the free recordings, enjoy the workouts and the yoga practices. And if you have any questions or comments, I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much. It's lighting a candle. Just setting the tone for our practice. I always love to light a candle when I practice in the morning. Setting that space, this time for yourself. Feel free to close the eyes if you like. And bringing awareness to your breath. Watching the breath as it touches the nose, chest expands, belly releases down and out. Exhale, focus on the belly coming in, chest relaxes, air leaves the nose. Taking a few rounds here, seeing if you can lengthen and smooth out the breath. Feeling the hips heavy on what you're seated on. And on your next inhale, imagine growing taller through the crown of the head, lengthening out of the hips, rising up through that stability of the hips. And on the exhale, focus on the belly. Keep the length in the spine, belly coming in, hips heavy. Keep working with that. One more sweet round here. Can you make it any more subtle? And whenever you finished, blinking the eyes open and coming to standing on your mat. So keeping that same long, smooth breath throughout your practice, starting with either feet hip distance apart moving into Tadasana, or you could have your big toes together, it works. Gazing at something on the floor in front of you that's not moving, as you inhale, arms reach up, maybe the heels lift off the ground. Staying up if your heels are up, exhale, hands behind the head. Open the shoulders wide, the elbows wide. Inhale, hands come back up. Exhale, lower the heels, lower the arms, getting to the bottom at the same time as the bottom of the breath. Again, inhale, arms up, the heels can also stay on the ground. Exhale, hands behind the head, open the chest, shine the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, belly in, hands behind the head. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, belly. Inhale. Exhale. Taking the feet wide, the into a lateral bend. As you inhale, arms come out to a T, shoulder height or below. As you exhale, pivot the left foot out, left elbow, left knee, bending the knee. Arm to the sky or can rest on your hip. Inhale, reach, long line of energy from the fingertips to the heel. Exhale, belly in, hand to the sky. Look down, inhale, that's straight, up to standing, arms to the T. Exhale, other side, right elbow, right knee. You can also do right hand to right knee. Inhale, reach. Getting into the side of the body, exhale, hand to the sky. Look down, inhale, coming to standing, arms to the T. Feet are parallel, exhale, hands to the sides. So options, I just want to give some options here before we continue with this. So we inhale, we exhale, we can put our hand on our leg like this. The other hand can come up. Feel, feel the opening in the side of the body, right? We're focusing on the inhale on the side of the body, filling up and lengthening. And every exhale, focus on the belly on the side that's, that's being folded into. Okay, so you can have your hand here, you can have your elbow here. If the breath is long and smooth, your hand can be on the floor, it can be on a bench, whatever works for you, okay? And the top arm can either go over as we're doing, or you can just rest it if it doesn't feel good in the shoulder or for any reason. So let's try it again. Inhale, arms up to a T. Exhale to the left, belly. Inhale, reach. Round down through that right heel. Exhale, hand to the sky. Round that heel. Inhale, rise back up to standing. Feet are parallel. Exhale, other side. Right elbow, right knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hand to the sky. Inhale, rise, arms to a T. Exhale, arms to the sides. Again, inhale, arms to a T. Exhale, left elbow, left knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hand to the sky. Rise, inhale, exhale, other side. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hand to the sky. Look down, inhale, rise, arms to T. Exhale, hands to the sides. Last round, inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hand to the sky, belly. Look down. Inhale, rise to standing, feet are parallel. Exhale, right. Make sure the knee is tracking over the, the second toe. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hand to the sky. Look down, inhale, rise, standing, arms for T. Exhale, hands, sides. Heel, toe, your feet back together. 
And then coming with your feet hip distance apart, and we're really working with a forward fold. As you inhale, arms come up, lengthening through the crown of the head. Exhale, hinge at the hips, gentle fold. Hands can come to the thigh, shin, or the earth. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Upper body is parallel with the earth, arms go wide. Back of the neck is long. Exhale, belly and fold. Inhale, rise to standing, arms reach up. Maybe look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So staying with this. Remember the Arda, the halfway lift, that's our opportunity to lengthen the spine some more, okay? So we keep that length in the spine and then we fold again. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, Arda, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Through the crown of the head, exhale, belly and fold, keeping that length. Inhale, rise, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. So I'm going to do a modification of that for people watching this later or for people here in class. So go ahead and fold deeply if that feels good to the body. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Function over form, belly in. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe the arms go out. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more, inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Arda, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, belly. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Coming down onto your knees. If your knees are tender, you can have a blanket under or roll the mat up and make a cushion under the knees. We're doing some belly work on our knees here. So you can come to seated on the heels or stay standing on the knees, whatever is most comfortable. On the inhale, arms reach up, come to standing on the knees. Exhale, belly, Vajrasana, hips towards heels. Hold. Inhale, chakra vakasana, left leg lifts, maybe the right arm. Exhale, Vajrasana, hips towards heels. Inhale, chakra vakasana, right leg lifts. Maybe the left arm. Exhale, Vajrasana. Inhale, rise to standing on the knees, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Adding on, inhale, arms up. Exhale, Vajrasana. If these movements aren't possible, then just breathing long and smooth. Focus on the belly. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, left leg lifts. Arm reaches. Exhale, down dog. Staying here for a moment and walk your dog, bending one knee then the other. This should feel really good. Long, smooth breaths into the hip. Swaying the hips, opening up the back of the body. Possible straightening the arms and bringing the chest to the, towards the thighs. And then finding some stillness in your down dog. Heels are moving towards the earth. On your next inhale, drop the left knee, chakra the right leg lifts. 
Exhale, Vajrasana, hips towards heels. Inhale, rise to standing on the knees, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Adding on. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Vajrasana, hips towards heels. Inhale, ch Chakra Bakasana, left leg lifts. Working with the belly here. Exhale, knee towards elbow. So right elbow, left knee, crunching. Inhale, open back up. We're going to do that again. Long line of energy. Exhale, crunch. Push the floor away with the left hand. Engage the belly. Inhale, open back up. Exhale, plant the limbs, down dog. Inhale, coming forward to a plank position. You can be on the knees or lift the knees. Exhale, down dog. Really focus on the belly. That's what we're working on here. Inhale, chakra vakasana, right leg lifts, left knees on the ground. Same thing this side. Push the floor with the right hand. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. Crunch, hollow out the belly. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, Vajrasana, hips towards heels. Inhale, rise to standing on the knees. We look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Watch the breath. Maybe close the eyes for a moment here. Slow it down. Smooth it out if it needs to be. And we'll do that one more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, Vajrasana, fold. Hips towards heels. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, left leg lifts. Exhale, knee towards elbow. Press them together if they're touching. Engage the belly. Inhale, open. Push the floor away. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, plank position. Stay here and breathe. Push the floor away. Dome the upper back. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the belly. Squeeze the front of the thighs. Press through the back of the heels and all the way up through the crown of the head. Keep the head in line with the rest of the spine. Hollow the belly. Isometrically pull the hands towards the feet without moving them, right? It's okay to shit quiver. Breathe long and smooth on your next exhale, down dog. Getting that belly activated, so we're going to need it. Inhale, chakra vakasana, right leg lifts. Push the floor away. Exhale, left elbow, right knee, crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open. Exhale, Vajrasana, hips towards heels. Inhale, rise to standing on the knees. Exhale, hands to heart center. Pause for a moment. Feel free to close your eyes and smooth out the breath. Slow the pulse down if it went up. Grounding the energy downward. And because I can't see everybody, if if you need variations or 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 other ways of achieving these functions, please contact me. 
You can either text me or call me or email me and we can discuss ways that will work for you. Because everybody can achieve this same function. And then moving on. So when you're ready, we're moving to side plank. So just like we just did, inhale, arms up. Exhale, Vajrasana, full hips towards heels. We're, we're cleaning it up though. Not all the extras. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, left leg lifts. Exhale, belly in, down dog. Keep the hips high. Lower the left knee to the earth. Kick the foot out and turn over onto the side. Open up onto the side. The right foot comes onto the ground. This is an inhale. Stay here and breathe. Maybe looking up at the right, the top hand if it's raised. Your hand can also be on your side. You can also look straight ahead or you can look down, whatever works. Long, smooth breaths down into the belly. On your exhale, pivot back to down dog. And then ex inhale, open up, drop the right knee. Kick the leg out as a little kickstand, pivot onto the left foot, inhaling, opening up to side plank on the other side. Breathing here, pressing out of the hand that's on the ground, not dropping into the shoulder. So you're rising up like you're being pulled up by the top hand. Keep the belly, that's all belly work here. Long, smooth breaths. On your next exhale, pivot around, come back to down dog. Inhale, drop the left knee, chakra across the right leg. Exhale, Vajrasana, hips towards heels. Inhale, rise to standing on the knees. Exhale, hands to heart center. So we're going to do this again. And this time I'm going to do a different leg variation. So if you want to try that, and if not, do what we just did with the little kickstand leg. I don't know if that makes sense because I can't see you. So the kickstand leg, we're in down dog. We keep the hips high to get into Vasishtasana, which is side plank. We lower a knee and I kick. I kick my foot out and then pivot onto, pivot the other foot. And the other foot is flat on the ground. So the kicking, making the little kick stand helps with balance, right? If you want the next step up of a challenge, as long as the breath is long and smooth, don't do the kick stand. That's more of a challenge for the balance, right? And I guess where we're going to go is both feet up. Okay. Another option you could do if you don't want to do, well, no, let's just leave it at that. My vata, I'm giving you too many choices. Okay. So connect with the breath. Inhale, arms up. Long, sweet and smooth. Exhale, Vajrasana, fold. Belly in. Inhale, Chakra Vakasana, left leg lifts. Exhale, down dog. Now either drop the left, left knee and make a kickstand or pivot onto the sides or the bottoms of both feet. Keep the hips high, open up. Breathe here wherever you are. Press the floor away, rise out of the floor. On your next exhale, take the hand to the ground, flip to down dog. 
Same thing, other side. Inhale, turning towards the right. You need to kick stand with the right leg, maybe. Open up. Long, smooth breaths here. Press the floor away. Keep the hips high. And on your next exhale, down dog. Inhale, drop the left knee. Chakra Vakasana, right leg lifts. Exhale, Vajrasana, hips towards heels. Inhale, rise to standing on the knees. Exhale, hands to heart center. Coming on to your backs for Shavasana. So knees can be bent or straight, lying all the way down on your back. <clears throat> Eyes can be closed. <clears throat> Allow the body to soften downward. Releasing control of the breath. There's a warmth to the body. Find the energy to settle downward. Feel the weight of the hips. Is it possible to release downward any bit more? One more time. Scanning the body. Top of the head and down to the feet. You're scanning, finishing up your scan here. And then straighten the legs out long. Arms are by the sides, maybe making an adjustment to take the shoulders away from the ears, lengthening the back of the neck. Eyes can be closed, looking into leg raises. As you inhale, arms reach up overhead, maybe the backs of the hands touch the earth above the head or out to the sides. Exhale, belly engages, left leg lifts to the sky, you can be bent or straight, arms lower to the sides. Foot is flexed like you're standing on the ceiling. Inhale, open back up, lower leg, lift arms. Exhale, right leg lifts, arms lower. Right side of the belly is focused. Inhale, opening back up. Exhale, arms to the sides. Again, inhale, arms up. So left and right is one round. We just did one round. Exhale, left leg lifts, arms lower. Keep the mind on the belly. Inhale, open. Leg lowers, arms lift. Exhale, right leg lifts, arms lower. Inhale, open back up. Leg lowers, arms lift. Exhale, arms to the sides. Lengthen the breath. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left leg up, arms down. Inhale, open back up. Leg lowers, arms lift. Exhale, left, right leg lifts, arms lower. Inhale, open. Exhale, arms to the sides. One more. 
Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left leg lifts, arms lower. Inhale, open. Exhale, right leg lifts, arms lower. Inhale, open. Exhale, arms to the sides. <clears throat> Bending the knees, moving into Dwi Padakam, bridge pose. So feet are hip distance apart, feet are parallel, making sure the back of the neck is long and keeping the head still to protect the neck throughout this posture. As you inhale, lift the hips, the eyes can be closed. Exhale, belly and stay. Inhale, arms reach up, overhead or out to the sides, hips stay high. Exhale, lower arms, lower hips. Each inhale, fill the shape with the breath. That's what we do with each of our postures. Inhale, and hips up. Exhale, belly in, stay. Make sure both glutes are firing equally. Inhale, arms up. Pressing through the corners of the three corners of each foot. Exhale, lower hips, lower arms. Again, inhale, hips up. Exhale, stay, belly in. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, lower. One more round. Inhale, hips up. Press to both feet equally. Exhale, stay. Belly in. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, lower. Pause for a moment. And then turning over onto your side and pressing up to Gandasana or rolling up your spine up, whatever works for you. So knees can be bent or straight. We'll be working with a forward fold here, taking the left leg anywhere you'd like to go on the right leg. So opening it up, placing the foot on the, the calf or the thigh, whatever is comfortable. Gently rotate the belly button over the right leg. As you inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, fold. Move it dynamically. Inhale, arms up. Eyes can be closed. Exhale, belly and fold. So it doesn't matter where you reach on the leg. Inhale, up. Focus on the crown of the head, going up towards the heavens. Keep that length on the exhale as you fold. You feel the crown of the head going towards the front of the room. Keep moving on your own. A few more rounds. Lengthening the breath. Smoothing it out. So the next time you exhale, go in for a stay. Stay in that visualization of every inhale, you're lengthening the spine, getting taller, space between each vertebra. And every exhale, focus on the belly, coming in gently on the right side, softening. Soften the front of the thigh. Keep with that visualization even in your stay. 
As you breathe long and smooth, blowing the spine out of the pelvic floor. And softening. On your next inhale, walk the hands back up and arms come up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Straighten the legs out, giving them a little shake if needed. Knees a little bit of love, and we'll do the same thing other side. So the right leg comes anywhere on the left leg. So the right foot comes anywhere on the left leg. Give it your belly button, orienting it towards the left foot. The left foot is flexed, so the toes are going towards the ceiling. Inhale, same visualization, getting taller through the crown of the head. Exhale, fold. Again, the knee can be bent quite a bit if needed. You could do this in a chair, right? Keep moving on your own. Inhale, and you rise. Exhale, you fold. Softening. Smooth the breath out, lengthen it. Noticing if this side feels any different than the first side. And the next time, exhale, go in for the stay, if that sounds like it would be good. Staying with the visualization is getting longer through the crown of the head, the whole spine lengthening towards the front of the room. And exhale, focus on the left side of the belly. Softening. Shoulders are soft, face is soft. Breathe down into the hips, the low back. And each exhale, releasing, softening. If there's emotions or anything coming up, just imagine them releasing through the exhale. And our next inhale. Gently walking the hands back up, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Straighten the legs. Shaking the knees out maybe, and then let's do both legs. This time we're going right in for the stay, since we've already moved dynamically on these legs. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, fold, stay. So if the hands are touching the feet, maybe you'd like to take the bind around the big toe, which is your middle finger, your pointer finger wrapped around the toe, and then your thumb making a clasp. So you've got a circle around both toes. Again, it doesn't matter where the hands are, stay with the visualization. Lengthening through the crown of the head, softening, releasing, keeping that length in. Focus on the belly every exhale.
On your next inhale, walking the hands back up, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Coming on, hands and knees. And just taking a little counter pose here. So as you exhale, hips go back towards heels, so I draw some of that belly in. Chest, the chin towards chest. As you inhale, start with the head, undulating up, raising up to chakra because in the variation, heart comes through the arms, maybe the chin lifts. Exhale, chin towards chest, undulating the spine, rolling back to Vajrasana, belly in. Inhale, roll up, heart comes forward. So think of trying to undulate and move every vertebra in the spine as you link to the breath. Every time you go back, it's an exhale, keep moving the middle breath. And every time you go in, Inhale, you go forward. Heart right, chest broad. And next time you go back into Vajrasana, stay there for a moment. And on um, exhale, walk the hands over to the left while you stay in Vajrasana, opening up the side, keeping the hips level, breathe here. Maybe doming the fingertips of the right hand to lengthen the side of the body more, if that feels good. Maybe that's something you'd like to play with. And on your next inhale, come into center, walking the hands. And on the exhale, come to the right. Same thing. Playing with the doming of the hand if that feels good, leveling out the hips, lengthening the left side of the body. Breathe down into the hips. And on the inhale, come into center. Rolling forward again. Taking any movement that feels good here. Just a couple up and back. Linking up with your breath. Moving the hips, neck, whatever feels good. And then come into a seated position. You can also just stay on your back if you'd like. Depending on what you have to do today. Come to see it. So feel free to close the eyes if you'd like. Feeling the hips heavy on whatever you're seated on. If you have support behind your back, feel that as well. Allowing the body to rest into the support. And we'll be working with a pranayama. We'll be doing four rounds of equal inhale to exhale. Six, six for the inhale, six for the exhale. I'll be counting. Then we will do six count inhale, six count exhale, hold for four after the exhale. And then we will do a six count inhale, seven count exhale for four, four times. 
I'll be counting for all of it, keeping the mind on the breath the whole time. If it wanders, bring it back. Watching the air come in, fill up the shape of the body, focus on the belly each time you exhale. So chest, every inhale is the focus. Belly, every exhale is the focus. If the count doesn't work for you, then go with an even inhale, even exhale of your own count. Exhale all the air here so we can start together. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Adding the hold. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, two, three, four. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the breathing pattern. Observing the state of the mind. Focusing the mind on something that brings you joy. That feeling of the heart warming up and glowing brighter, expanding. Maybe a slight smile comes to the edges of the lips.
and gently holding that object in the heart throughout the day. Watching the dialogue of the mind, coming back to that object that brings joy and setting it right below the heart, that warmth, that expansiveness, that spaciousness, that ease. And taking the hands to the heart center to seal in your practice. Bowing the head to the heart. Thank you for practicing today. Namaste.